Greetings, I am Flex and I will be your advisor. As the newly elected leader of the world governance, you have the power to change our planet. Be aware that our current lifestyle is seriously threatening the ecosystem, so act responsible. Good luck, I will be there for you and if you need me, just say hi Flex. I heard of studies telling that we should change our lifestyle and lower our impact. Honestly though, I enjoy my comfortable life and I don't see this climate change as my problem. Now that I have the power to change how things are, I will try to make people's lives easier. Let's take a look at the current situation. I see that the land of forests and known forests is being depleted and changing diet would probably improve this. But I really don't feel like giving up anything. How could I? After having tried all the good food around the world? And how could I resist the hot pot I would eat back home in China? Another thing that I love is the freedom that my own car gives me. I just go wherever I want without having to check any time schedule. I wonder how much people would benefit if any traveling happened by car. Well, the connectivity factor has increased and so has the GDP per capita. Now everything is so much more interconnected. I see that the human development score went up as a consequence. Notice that the planet score has significantly decreased due to the emissions factor. Okay, apparently having that many cars would produce an important amount of emissions. I guess I have to do something to solve that. But I definitely don't want to lose the pleasure of driving. I'm going to tackle the problem by greening the barren land. That should absorb the CO2 in the atmosphere. Looking at the emissions globe, I think the result is good enough. Although that came with a cost, the GDP per capita factor has decreased. It is essential that countries can guarantee a comfortable lifestyle, first of all in my motherland China. I need to find a solution to improve the economy over there. Hi Flex! What is the employment rate in China? The employment rate in China is 67.9% of the total amounts of population. Great! Abundance of jobs is a good opportunity to increase the GDP. All I need is people migrating to China, attracting by such opportunity, and that hopefully will improve the economy of my country. I'm going to make a policy that allows free migration on the planet. Very interesting. With such a policy, there will be a great migration of people to China. However, it seems like the GDP per capita factor would get worse. I wonder why. The GDP per capita factor is the ratio calculated between GDP and population. It is going down since the GDP value increases of only a small fraction compared to the extraordinary rise of population. Well, I did not expect that. I guess there is a limit until which the growth of population is beneficial to the economy of a country. I need to limit the flow of migrants by opening the borders only partially. Much better. Population looks a lot more evenly distributed around the world. The human score, however, is still low. The GDP per capita needs to be improved. Now that the GDP is not so scarce, I think an important investment is what needs to happen to bring the economy back up. I reckon automation is a field that will lead to a great development. Notice that the Human Development Score has decreased even further due to unemployment which made the GDP per capita going down again. This approach has not led to positive achievement. A mindset more balanced between human and planet needs is recommended. The game is over.